It has been a year since I purchased this mechanical keyboard and here are some of my thoughts that I want to share with you guys. Let's roll in. This is the Keytron K1, comes with 87 key, blue switch and a single white backlight version. The first impression when I open the box for the first time is its design. The whole body is covered with a black aluminum. Very fancy, fit perfectly in my desk. This keyboard has a low profile design with an inclined base that brings all the key closer as you reach. That means you will type faster and easier. Also, the clicking sound is just so real and responsiveless every time you touch the curve key. If you never used a mechanical keyboard before, this must be a new experience for you. Keychunk K1 is well connected with both Windows and Mac OS through Bluetooth. Or you can connect it with the USB-C port in the back of the board to avoid delay or unexpected disconnection. Some additional keycaps come in the box for you to switch if you're using Windows. This keyboard allows you to connect up to 3 devices mapped to 1 to 3 key respectively and switch up by holding the function key and pressing the corrected number. I've tried a few times and it responds pretty quick between my MacBook and iPhone. So after years of using it, here are some things that I really love about this Keytron models. First to mention, it is battery life. It can last up to 15 hours with a single backlight and 10 hours with the RGB light version. So it's probably 3 or 40 working within one charging time or maybe last for a week if you just work a few hours a day. The system is really smart. If you stop typing for about 15 minutes, it will disconnect and will repatch once you type again. Maybe take a few second delay, that's why you save battery. Now if you are a developer or MacBook Pro user, I believe you probably miss those function key F from uh, F1 to F12. Uh, because it's faster and gives you more responsive feel rather than touching on the touch bar. Another thing that I nearly forgot to mention is the light mode in this mechanical keyboard. You have multiple light buttons to switch. Also adjust its playlist, depend on your preferences. I prefer the on white option for my K1 because I just don't like the RGB option. I feel it's kind of distraction when I'm focusing on my work. To be honest with you, I stopped using this keyboard for about 2 months ago and the reason are It makes me so frustrated whenever I want to clean, take everything out and wipe. And of course, if you have strong air blower, it could be a much easier way to do so. Okay, I agree, it's, it's normal to do, it's normal to clean your things, but it gets this very quickly. Uh, basically, you have to clean it every single day. Since you take out the key frequently, then it will not tighten enough. I had a problem whenever I put in my bag and take it out with some loose keys. Imagine if you lose some during your work days, how bad it could be. The second struggle that I'm facing is it's way too far from my laptop. Because the 30 inch MacBook display is pretty small, I guess this keyboard will fit much better with anyone who has a larger screen, PC or laptop. The reason I purchased this one because my MacBook Retina 2017 keyboard just sucks. However, I'm happy now with the new M1 MacBook. This keyboard just great. Okay, that is everything that I felt throughout a years of using this Keytron K1. And in my opinion, it's good when in its price range, $74 and you got a uh, good battery, um, slick design, fit perfectly on your desk, and wireless. So that's basically everything you need from a keyboard. And yeah, that's pretty good price again. So let me know in the comment, what do you think about this keyboard? Would you buy it? Uh, and how, how do you feel about this? What would be done better for you? Uh, just let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching. This is Tommy. We'll see you next time.